everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is the first video I've filmed in ages. Any videos you've seen over the past few weeks have been literally filmed ages ago and I have been posting less because I've been busy doing other things. But today's video I'm filming a favourites video which I'm going to try and film every single month because they are my favourite videos to film. A little update at the start of this video, I did have Covid at the end of February so that wasn't great I had it last week and it didn't really last that long like in terms of my symptoms and how I felt like I felt really poorly for like two days maybe and my cough I had a bit of a cough but it wasn't too bad but yeah I did have Covid and I found it quite funny because I've managed to not catch Covid this entire time the pandemic has been a thing and then as soon as the restrictions completely ended the next day is when I caught COVID. So um, that is that is quite funny, but I'm over it now, I'm fine. I think I still have like that kind of slight ill feeling a little bit, but not really. Um, overall, I'm good. So that's one thing that happened in February. I can't really say that's a favorite. A definite favorite is that this didn't actually happen in February. This happened, hang on, when did this happen? The other day? Yeah, this happened the other day and it was the 4th of March, so it was in March and I passed my driving test and I didn't tell anybody on YouTube that I was doing my driving test because I just wanted to, you know, tell you when I passed in case I kept failing and failing and failing. I did pass the time, so I had failed twice beforehand and I will make a video about it. I am actually going to make a video like how I managed to pass my driving test without having lessons with an instructor because I didn't have a single lesson with an instructor which people might say is probably why I didn't pass first time but I know that's not the case and um, there is reasons why I didn't pass first time and second time um, and they were situational things so I will talk about that in that video so I might film that for next week's video um, so stick around for that but um, yeah, I passed my driver test. I'm really happy. So I will do some drive with me videos with my mum. I probably won't do any by myself, but with my mum because then, you know, she can like sort the camera out when it like falls down and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to drive. That is definitely like the biggest favourite, but it did happen in February, but uh, it did happen in March. So I have some products to share with you. Oh yeah, also I am 22 by the way. I'm not like... 17 or 18 because I know that a lot of people learn to drive as soon as you possibly can I have actually been driving since I was 17 um, With like, you know a year out of not driving I, I have left it a long time until I actually decided to do my test and that's because I just didn't really need to drive But now I just felt like I needed to drive so just thought I'd put that out there if you was wondering that I am like 22 Also, if you can hear my voice. Yeah, I know I, it, it does still sound like I'm ill but I do have some products and the first, well, what should I do? Actually, I think the first thing I'm gonna show you is a cleaning product because I love cleaning products. So this is the 4ml fabric refreshener. Now this is from Lidl. I'm not sure if this is like the brand that they just sell. Like I don't know if you can get it from anywhere else, but this is Innocent Purple Blossom and it says it removes odors and it leaves fabric fresh. Now the reason why this is a favorite is because it is really quite cheap from Lidl. I would say this is like a substitute to the Febreze um, kind of freshness sprays that you can get that are a lot more expensive than, the, than this one. I do actually get those sprays anyway, but I use this on my clothing. So basically I will put my clothes in the washing machine. I will use like normal washing liquid or washing tablets and some unstoppables. I love unstoppables and also some fabric conditioner. And then when my clothes are out the washing machine, I will just spray them with this before they dry and then they will just dry smelling really nice. The combination of all the products that I use for like when I do my laundry just makes everything smell really nice and makes it really soft. So yeah, uh, this is a favorite and if you don't do this, I would recommend it if you want your smell, like if you want your clothes to smell like extra, extra nice. So I liked that and I thought I'd mention it because it is quite cheap as well. Oh, another favorite, which I didn't mention in January favorite is actually my laptop. So I thought I would just mention it now. Um, I did buy this in January. Did I? I don't know, did I? I think I did. Um, and yeah, it's a MacBook Air and yeah, I love it. I literally use it all the time, I probably use it too much, so yeah, it's literally 
I use it to play Sims, I use it to watch videos, I use it to edit my videos, um, Netflix, everything like that. Like I just use my laptop for everything and it's got a pink case on it and look at my back, like my lock screen. I just love that. Like I changed that recently and this is a favourite, like my lock screen is my favourite of the month because I just like how that looks. Does anybody else like that? I don't know if I'm just being weird. Um, but I actually liked it so much that I changed the lock screen on my phone to the same image. <laughs> I just like how it looks. It just, I don't know. Sometimes when you have like your own image as your lock screen on your phone, I just feel like, you know, you can't really see it that well. But when it's like a nice like image like this, it just, just looks so good. So yeah, don't know why, but that is a favorite of the month because it's just little things like that that makes me happy. I have one makeup product, which I do think I mentioned in my last month's favourites, but I thought I would just mention it again. I didn't really have any other makeup favourites to talk about, and I thought, you know, what's one thing that is like a genuine like favourite, and it's this lipstick. So this is from Vive. It's Jamie Genevieve's makeup brand. She makes videos on YouTube. I watch her channel all the time but this is in the shade 90s and basically it's like a nudie brown kind of shade actually I'm getting deja vu I definitely did speak about this um in my favorites video for January but I've got it on my lips now and I just wanted to mention it because I have been wearing this literally every single day whenever I've been wearing makeup and this is like the kind of shade that I am drawn towards it's just something that's suitable for everyday wear in my opinion for like my personal taste and yeah I really like the formula and everything like that and it is something that I would repurchase in the future if it was to run out so I think that is um, very telling when you would repurchase it I think it is like 19 pounds or something like that or maybe a bit less like 17 but it's definitely like worth the money in the, t in the fact that I use it every single day so I get my money's worth then I have this. Now, I didn't know whether to mention this or not, but I thought, you know what, Georgie, you're gonna mention it. And I probably have spoken about this before, uh, but this is from Nivea and it's the Pearl and Beauty deodorant. And it's just a roll on deodorant, but I wanted to mention this because this genuinely is like my favorite deodorant and it's the one that actually works and smells really nice. And it's, I had some from Lidl recently, like I used this one and then I got one from Lidl and it was just terrible. Like, I don't know what it is, like does anybody else have that experience? But I just really didn't like it and yeah, I got this again and now I love it. So I just thought to mention that if you want a nice roll on deodorant that this one is actually really nice in my opinion. And also I like the fact that you can see um, the liquid in it. This is actually like a new one so you can't really see on like camera but when it runs out you can see like where it's at, like the level of the liquid which it's great because then you know when to buy a new one. So I like that. Then I have this lip balm which I got recently. So this is just Vaseline and it's like aloe vera Vaseline. I have recently had dry lips and I don't usually get dry skin, dry hands, like dry anything because my skin type is oily skinned and it tends to just be quite hydrated in that sort of way. But I did have dry lips recently and I actually had to go and buy something for that because it's quite sore when you have dry lips. Like, it just hurts, like it kind of cracks and stuff. But anyway, this sorted the problem out straight away and I've been using this at night time before I go to bed and it just makes your lips nice and soft. So just wanted to mention that because it is a favorite. Then I've got this, which is my SPF. It's getting into those times when the sun's gonna start coming out and it's gonna be summer and you do have to wear an SPF every single day even through winter you should as well but i know a lot of people don't and this is only if you want great skin when you're older because the biggest like wrinkle causing thing in the world is the sun so you want to make sure that if you want to have nice wrinkle free skin when you're older that you put your spf on to protect yourself from the sun because that is a big factor and definitely don't use sun beds or anything like that because that is going to age your skin so fast so just use tanning products like come on we're in 2022 now but yeah that's a really great spf if you're looking for one this is from altruist and it's SPF 50 and it blends in really nicely. It's not particularly greasy. It doesn't have that typical sunscreen like smell that a lot of sun creams do actually have that really strong smell, which I kind of like it because it reminds me of like being on holiday. But 
yeah this doesn't have that as like an everyday product so i would recommend and i just got that from amazon quite decently priced oh yeah then i've got this which i thought i would just mention um this is actually my own lip gloss that i have been using this is a fresh face by georgie kerr sheer shine lip gloss and this is like my newest launched product and it is on my etsy and ebay which i will link in the description if you want to go and check it out but if i'm not wearing this lip stick that i wear from vive then i will wear this gloss that I make myself because it's like a skincare and a makeup product in one. So it's got like um, those benefits for your lips where it will nourish your lips as well as also looking nice and plump and shiny. So yeah, I've been loving wearing this and I'm really, really happy with the product. So um, like I said, if you wanna go and check it out, I will link um, all the links to see the product in the description. And then the final product of this video is this. So this is a face mask from L'Oreal and it's the Pure Clay Glow Mask. I saw the word glow and I was like, this looks like a product for me. And I really enjoyed this. It glides onto the skin really nicely. It does actually have like little kind of chunky pieces in it. Um, if you know what I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's got like um, gritty pieces in it. It says it kind of exfoliates the skin. I wouldn't say it exfoliates the skin really because I just kind of like put it onto my skin and then wash it off. I don't like scrub it in or anything like that. But I just really like this. It sets on and it actually looks like a darker colour once it's set down. Um, and I take it off after 10 minutes and my skin feels nice and soft. So yeah, I've liked, like I've been really liking using this basically and I just wanted to mention, I am a massive face mask lover i do use pretty much a face mask every single day and i use a different one every single day i think i do have about seven eight face masks and i use all of them because i really enjoy using them um but yeah that's all of my favorites and my favorite products i do have a favorite youtuber and it she's called i think her channel's called jamie's journey but she does cleaning videos and i just love watching them i don't know why it just motivates you to clean if you're the kind of person that um i don't know enjoys cleaning but sometimes you just want a bit of motivation then that's the kind of like channel you would enjoy watching she also films often like meal prep um sections in those videos where she shows how she meal preps for the week and that kind of thing i just really enjoy watching her videos a lot um which is quite weird but you know, she has a lot of views, so a lot of people must relate to like why I like it. Um, and then any other favorites? The Apprentice, love watching The Apprentice. I think I mentioned that in my last favorites video. Um, oh, and also on Netflix, I've really liked watching The Good Place. I actually finished watching that series now. That was a really good series, I liked that and also community on netflix i'd never seen that before and yeah i really like um that and i've been watching that every single day and i look forward to watching an episode i like watching series where the episodes are like about 20 minutes long um and that's kind of like how they are and it's quite funny so yeah there's a lot of episodes for um, that series as well so it means that i can watch it for a long time but yeah that's pretty much everything i would say overall for this month my main favorite is passing my driver test i not gonna lie to you on the day did not realize that i passed i thought i'd failed during the actual test um so it was quite a nice moment when he said that he's pleased to tell me i passed because i was like damn um but i will talk about that in the video next week uh but apart from that i would say my main favorite is probably Probably maybe the face mask, because I do really love face masks. Um, and I did quite like it when I changed my background to this. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but yeah, that's everything. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had a good month. I will film another one of these next month. So give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And I will see you in my next video, which will probably be next Monday. So yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.